Hi everybody, welcome. Oh, there it comes. Oh. Welcome to the ride log. We got a guy here. What? What's going on, man? Yeah, this guy over here is like doesn't know what he's doing. This guy over here doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, I'm just. Let's start this again. Okay, coast is clear. Let's try this again. We had an idiot to the left of me, an idiot to the right. <laughs> that was brutal. Starting the day off, hey, first of all, welcome. Welcome to the video. Appreciate you all. Sean here. Going to start this ride along in the basement. That means we're getting city market groceries. So 1025 for the plus. It's really close. A couple miles. Mm. Got four bags. There's a nice tip on this. I've delivered to this lady before. All I smell is filet of fish I got an 850. And uh, hopefully pick it up pretty quickly. Never this busy in here. What's going on? It's weird. Thank you so much. All right, in and out, in and out, good, because I'm in a sketch old parking spot. It's one only one thing about coming here, there's nowhere to park. Two blocks, two blocks from the uh, McDonald's, that away. Just going to this place here. Nice little lunch delivery, open. I delivered right on that street over there, a couple doors down. Heirloom came in, five dollars, high pay, no tip. But it's like 40, 440 feet or something, and it said it's ready. Hi. <laughs> they live like a block from this store, so I guess that's why they figure they don't need to tip. Whatever. It's a good quick order, I guess it's good for my ratings. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. This traffic is just, there's no parking. I got an 865, not gonna go up or anything, but it's only like a mile and a bit. They showed me the whole thing. Just from this breakfast table here. Hopefully it's ready. And yeah, this is just it's too hard to find parking and traffic. I gotta get out of this little area here. Making money, the orders are pretty good. It's just it's traffic and the parking is just a lot to deal with. And there's lurkers on bikes giving tickets now too. There's ticket lurkers everywhere around here. <laughs> I'm full circle. I'm back in the underground. I'm back in the uh, in the city market. This time it's nine dollars. It's under three miles. It's like two point eight miles. Once again, I just hope it's a small amount. It wasn't even that close to here. I mean, I guess I was kinda. I was out of that last area I was in. I gotta stay out of there. The traffic today is just, it's out of control. Yeah, my spidey senses are tingling. I was talking to the girl. She said there's another order coming out at 2.30. I'm gonna avoid that one. I don't think it's gonna have a tip and I don't think, I think it's gonna be going to an apartment and I think it's gonna be a lot of stuff. So I'm on pause right now after I get this delivered and I'm going to go for like a 45 minute hour break. That's good enough for me for the lunch rush for now. I'm going to take half hour, 45 minute break. Um, just chill out. I want to avoid that 2.30 order that's coming out of the grocery store. There's one for 2.30, so I'll put it on probably around 3 o'clock. And uh, we'll see what's available then, but probably not much. I don't expect to be too busy. It's so nice. Everyone's out and about doing stuff, you know. But I'm going to take a little break here while it's slowed down and then get back on around 3. See what we can do. It's just after 3. I'm ready to put the app back on, but uh, I'm waiting until 3.31. <laughs> I decided to wait till 3.31. Here's the reasoning. 3.31 is like my lucky number. 
Um, I don't know why, I just decided that's my lucky number. Like when I built the engine for my car, it's a 331. And then after that, I started seeing 331 everywhere. Like everywhere I'd see, like a, whenever I look at a clock, it'd be 331. Or whenever I look at anything, it, it was always 331. I would see it like multiple, like all the time. It was like that movie with Jim Carrey, the numbers or whatever that movie. I never saw the movie, but it's like that movie. <laughs> you just see it numbers everywhere. So I'd see 331 everywhere. So I decided, okay, you know what? 331 is my lucky number. It worked out for me yesterday when I started at 331. So I'm going to do the same thing today. I'm going to put the app on at 331 for luck, and then we'll roll through the dinner rush and see how she goes. But, uh, yeah, just going to play it by the numbers. Long time to get in order. Long time. Like 45 minutes. That's okay. At least they didn't send me garbage. But let's not talk about that. It's a good order. It's uh, Sahal. Seven uh, kebab meals. So it's uh, They ain't cheap. I'm right close to Dunbar Theater, so I might be getting popcorn after this. If there's popcorn there, it'll definitely be coming to me. <laughs> Let's try these ones. I mean, there's an elevator. Could go elevator, but why? Why bother? I mean, I do probably need the exercise. I'm gonna break it down. This is nice. Look over there. I ended up getting, I'll make this quick, cars are ripping by. I ended up getting Dunbar Theater. Actually, I'm not going to make this quick. They can just fly by. They're not going that fast. I ended up getting Dunbar Theater, but I had to pass up on Papa John's because they only tipped five bucks. There was a large order of pizza bag required, and uh, I didn't know if it was like 10 pizzas or 20 pizzas, so I wasn't going to risk that. No way. So let's go over. We'll grab the popcorn. We go, getting popcorn. Papa John's came in, but the tip wasn't enough and it was like five miles, so couldn't do it. It might have went up a little bit, but I couldn't risk it. It could have been a bunch of pizzas because it doesn't tell you the number of pizzas. Hello. Just uh, here to pick up the combo DoorDash. Hey, there you go. Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good night. We did the Dunbar Theater. I I'd rather do that Dunbar Theater with the $4 tip than the Papa John's with the $5 tip because it didn't tell me how many pizzas. So if I go there and there's like 10 pizzas and I'm only getting a $5 tip, I'm, I'm not going to want to do it. And uh, so I'm going to want to unassign, but I can't unassign right now because i got to get my completions up. So otherwise I probably would have took it. But yeah, I have no le leeway to unassign. So, um, so I just didn't even bother. And then, yeah. So the Dunbar was fine. They just got popcorn and some and a drink and uh, and some candy. That's it. And they tip four bucks. That's it's great. It's like a nineteen dollar combo or whatever, probably, or even less, right? Whatever. They probably give them a deal delivered. But yeah, it's I think it's like it's like sixteen dollars or whatever on the board and the thing. So yeah, maybe it's nineteen to DoorDash. Who knows? Whatever. They tipped really good though. And uh, yeah, now banana leaf, ten items. Five of them are spring rolls. And then five or some other like main dish they have. So I mean, it's at eight seventy five, high pay. I'm really happy with it. It's five forty one. There it is. It's on the counter. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll we'll run it in. It's five to six. I'm about ready to get to unmanage my pizza bag. Say I don't have one because uh, they keep calling me this Papa John's. This time I'm taking it. It's eleven dollars, three miles. It's decent enough, but I clicked into it and yeah, it's just two pizzas, so nothing to really be afraid of. But uh, yeah, don't keep call me way over for it too. It's like some kind of priority, but I mean, I guess it's pretty good. Eleven bucks. All right. Yeah, no worries. People are starting to eat now. They added on a lasagna. Right. Literally right on the route. Look. Not off one little bit. Great add on by DoorDash. Alrighty. So let's uh, make this one a little worse. No parking on the main street, right? <laughs> All right. Twenty-eight 
20 after 6. I waited about, I don't know, I'd say about 10 minutes after finishing that double order. Kitchen Dada, 16 items, and it's going to right near the yacht club, the tennis club, and the beach. I mean, I think I know the customer. I'm going to say 2743. 43. That's the number, 2743. This is going to be a good order, and uh, I think it's ready. Couple blocks from the beach. Hey there. Right. Go back. Here you go, Sushi Nova, which is pretty far from here. It's about two and a half miles. Thirty-four items for Chana. I love it. I love it. To me, it sounds like a very rich uh, name. Thirty-four items. It's funny because I was like thinking in my mind what. I was like, yeah, 17 items Minerva's, 29 items at uh, Sushi Nova, or 34 items at Tonton Sushi. I was making up all these big orders in my mind, and then, yeah, I got it. <laughs> 34 items Sushi Tonton. A couple minutes before the pickup. Um, I doubt it's ready. Oh, they're just packing it up. They're just packing it up. Vape shop. I'm just waiting outside. It's 10 minutes past the pickup time. They just, yeah, they said 10 minutes, so they're telling the truth. I think I'm gonna roll in and grab it. They were out to meet me, so I don't even know. I don't know what it was yet. I think they were really, really nice. So this, uh, this is gonna be really good. It was only six blocks from the store. That's it. So I... It's 7.20 and I got called way over for Dunbar Theatre. Way over. Like two miles away. Hello. Hi. There you go. There you are. Have a good night. Thanks. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to be Papa John's delivery guy. This one's 12 bucks, five and a half miles. I mean, it's not even good. They're, they call me way across the zone for it. So this is this is a fiasco. So uh, I'll probably be done after this one. We'll see if they queue a good one in after. We'll see if I can get one as I'm leaving the zone. But uh, yeah, I mean, come on, Tor. Terrible. This Papa is... John's delivery guy. It's unbelievable. I don't know why. It's just triggering the Papa John's and nothing else. Hello. Hi, I have DoorDash. I guess Papa John's is farming out all the orders. Everybody wants Papa John's, eh? <laughs> okay, Papa John's it is. There's your Papa's. Enjoy Papa.